Welcome to yet another Python programming video from your GK Buddy. In this video, we shall look at three methods to create a program to find a single mode or multiple modes from a list of numbers. First of all, let's look at what mode is. In statistics, mode is a value that occurs most frequently in a set of values. For example, let's consider this list of numbers num list. If we look at the numbers, we can see that Number 13 appears three times, that is the maximum number of times, whereas number 12 appears two times, and the rest of the numbers appear only once. In this list of numbers, the mode is 13 because it occurs the maximum number of times. Let's look at another example. In this example, we can see that while 10 and 16 appear only once, 12 appears twice, 17 appears twice, and 13 appears twice, which means that the numbers 12, 13, and 17 appear maximum number of times, or this list has three modes, namely 12, 13, and 17. Let's now look at the first method to create a Python program to identify single or multiple modes. On your screens is the Ideally Python Editor. I'm using Python 3.9.5 version. So let's look at the first method. We start by defining a function called multi-mode, which takes a single argument, which is a list of numbers. So the key word for creating a function in Python is def. Multi-mode is the name of the function, and numList is the argument, which accepts a list of numbers. So this list is the list of numbers that we are going to pass on to this num list. Within the function, let's look at the statements. First of all, we have to create a dictionary variable to store each number in the list and its count. We call this variable dcount. The two braces indicate that this variable is of the type dictionary. As we are aware, in Python, a dictionary consists of two components, namely a key and its value. In this example, this variable dcount would store each number in the list and its count. The key would be the number in the list and the value would be the count of that number. For instance, if we take this number, this number 10 would be the key in the dictionary and the value would be 1, which is the count of number 10. The number 10 appears only once in this list. The next step is to create a variable to store the maximum value of count. We are creating this variable because in order to find the mode, we need to get the maximum count of the numbers that are appearing in the list. The next step is to loop through the list of numbers to find a mode or modes. In this number list, we can see that there are multiple modes, namely 12, 13, and 14. When we call the multimode function in the main body of the program, this list would be passed on to this argument num list here. And we are looping through this num list. So for num in num list, num indicates an element in num list. Instead of num, we can use i or n or any other letter or word. As each element in this list is read, the next step is if num not in dcount. dcount is the dictionary variable that we declared here. At the moment, the dcount is empty. It doesn't have any key or value. As the first number in this list is read, num is not in dcount, dcount num equals zero. So we are initializing the first key and value in the dictionary using this statement. So what happens here is when 10 is read, it checks whether 10 is in the dictionary. And if it is not in the dictionary, it would initialize the value of 10 as 0. The next step is we are incrementing dcount num by 1. So once this block of if statements is executed, the result that we are going to get is 10, 1, where 10 is the key and 1 is the value, which represents the count of 10. Now, the next step is if dcount num is greater than max count. After the first iteration, once the number 10 is read, the value of dcount num would be 1 because we are incrementing by 1. At the moment, 
num is 10 and d count num is 1. Is it greater than max count or less than max count? The value of max count is equal to 0. So d count num which is 1 is greater than max count. Since it is greater than max count, max count is equal to d count num. The value of d count num is assigned to the variable max count. Once this block is executed, the value of max count will be equal to 1. Now we loop back and the second element in num list would be read and this loop goes on till the last element is read. Once all the elements in the num list have been looped through, we go to the next step. At the end of the step, we will have the dictionary completed with all the numbers in the list as the key and their respective counts as the value. Now, in order to access each key and its value in the dictionary, we are using the items method. So, for each num d count in d count dot items, so as we loop through each item in the dictionary d count, if d count equals equals max count, if we take this example, num would be this and d count would be 1. So, if d count is equal to max count, if the value here is the same as the value here, then print num. Then the value of the key would be printed. Once this loop is executed, max count would have the maximum value of the count. So, while looping through the dictionary, we are checking the count of each number in the list. And if the count of any number in the list is equal to the maximum count, that number will be printed and that would be one of the modes. So we have completed the statements in the function multimode. Now we are going to call the multimode function from the main body of the program and pass on this list of numbers. As 12 appears twice, 13 appears twice, and 14 appears twice, we have three modes in this list of numbers, namely 12, 13, and 14. Let's see whether our program returns the correct answer. So let's click on Run, Run Module, and we can see that the program returns three modes correctly, 12, 13, and 14. This program works fine. So using this program, we can calculate multiple modes. Let's check whether we can calculate single modes using this program. I'm going to add one more 14 here and let's save the program and click on run, run module. The number 14 appears three times, which is the maximum number of times. Therefore, the mode of this list of numbers is 14 and our program has given the correct result 14. So this program works in both single mode and multiple mode situations. Now let's look at the second method. This method is easier than the first method. We will be using the counter function in the collections module of Python. So the first step is to import the counter function from the collections module in Python. One thing we have to remember is that the C of the counter should be capitalized. So from collections, import counter. And we are creating a function multimode. So def is the keyword, multimode is the function name, and the argument is a list which is called num list. So this list would be passed on to this argument once the function is called from the main body of the program. As in the previous example, we are creating a dictionary from a list of numbers. In this case, we are going to use the counter function on the num list which is received here. And the counter function, when applied on a list of numbers, would create a dictionary with the numbers as the key and their counts as the values. So d count is equal to counter num list creates a dictionary with each element in the list as the key and their counts as the values. Then we create another variable max count and the maximum value amongst the values in this dictionary would be stored in max count. So max count is equal to max, d count is the dictionary name, dot values function will look at the values in this dictionary against each key and the maximum value out of this would be assigned to max count. The next step is to loop through each element in 
the dictionary. For that, we use the items method as we did in the previous method. So for num decount in decount dot items for each key and value in the dictionary. If decount equals equals max count, if the value of decount, which represents the count of each element, if the count of each element is equal to the max count, then print num. And this would be our mode. As we've seen earlier, this list has three modes, 12, 13, and 14. So let's run this program and see whether it gives the proper result. Click on run, run module. And we can see that the answer given here is correct. Let's see whether it works in the case of a single mode. Let's add one more 12 here. Now the mode of this list would be 12 because 12 appears the maximum number of times, which is three times. So let me save this file, save, and let's click on run, run module and we can see that the program gives the correct result, which is 12. Now we are going to see the third method, which is easier than this method. In this method, we will be using the multi-mode function in the statistics module of Python. For that, we use this statement from statistics, which is the module name, import multi-mode, which is the function name. And the next statement is the print statement, which prints the result of this multi-mode function. So multi-mode, we call the function and this list is passed on to the function and the result of this function would be printed, which would be the mode. As we've seen earlier, this list of numbers has three modes, namely 12, 13 and 14, because they appear the maximum number of times. Let's run this program and see whether it gives us the answer 12, 13 and 14. So let's click on run, run module. And we can see that unlike the other two methods, here we get a list of the three modes. Let's check whether it works well with lists having a single mode. So for that, I'm going to add one more number, let's say 13. At the moment, the number 13 appears the maximum number of times, the three times, and the mode is 13. So let's save and click on run, run module, and the program returns 13 correctly as the mode. Again, this is in the form of a list. Hope you found this video useful. If you like this video, please click on the like button and share it with your friends and colleagues and fellow students. Our channel has a lot of content on different subjects. While subscribing, please click on the bell icon and select the all option so that you will get notified as soon as we upload new content in our channel. We value your suggestions and feedback a lot. This video has been produced at the request of one of our viewers. Please help us take the number of subscribers to the 1000 mark so that we can create more videos. Please feel free to voice your requests for videos through our comment section. Please visit our website paddycosmos.com. Thank you very much for your support. See you again with yet another video. Have a great day.